another light floor video. In this video, we can see here a area which already contains a few creatures. Let's create another one. Here we open the creature browser feature. I'll just pick a random one here. Let's go with 25. And this one seems quite subtle. However, if we go with a different one, such as 65, all of a sudden we have a more visible bacterial style creature. Oh, it looks like it got defeated quite easily by the presiding geometric creatures. Now let's navigate to a different area. If we go, say, to 52, again, just arbitrarily picking a different region, we'll see a different background, more artistic, and another set of these very simple, basic, almost viral style geometric creatures which preside in a lot of areas, so there's very little totally unoccupied or free space at this point. Let's create some more creatures. Here's a new one. This one is a 51, which is quite large and complex on its own. It will eventually probably become smaller, and we'll see how it interacts with the presiding geometric shapes. It's just put out some offspring. Uh, and it looks like it's also not quite able to compete with the locally presiding geometric figures. Let's go look for an area where maybe we can have a bit more of an interesting kind of non-geometric natural form, such as 95. This one looks much less busy. So here, if we introduce several creatures, Let's go with a 17. That's a very small one that we can hardly see up there in the corner. And also a 21. No, I think that just consumed a 17. 71. Yep. This seems to be quite a difficult time for these naturalistic creatures. So let's go with one of these ones, a 31, and give it some company. Oh, it's already creating company on its own. These are quite subtle. You can make it out in the background. It's quite faint. Uh, and it also has this other one there to interact with a little bit. Now let's throw in a few more, just see what happens. It looks like they've reached a stable formation now, just these two squiggly ones remaining.